So good morning all. It's Tuesday, 7.30. Oh my goodness, this daytime savings thing, it, like, it killed me this week. Yesterday, I was so tired because, you know, it's bad enough that I have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. You know, my body, when I woke up yesterday, I was like, oh, it's too early. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning, it's still feeling. I was so exhausted yesterday, I went out, had to get a coffee at 1 o'clock so I didn't fall asleep. And then this morning, since these fence guys come later, I just shut my alarm off and slept in. So, still tired, but feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. I have to go to the library a little later, pick up a book that I put on hold, which I was at the library yesterday and I didn't see anything there. It must have happened after I left. So I have to do that. So this week I'm waiting to find out what is going on this week. I know one project manager, his super that they just brought back is going on vacation, which is the guy's gone on two vacations that I know of in six months because I had to babysit one of his jobs a week for a week, like when I first came back here. And now he wants me to babysit another job of his while he's on vacation. But the only thing that's bad about that, it's night work. I hate night work. Night work is awful. And I'm not going to be doing anything. Except just sitting there watching a storefront guy put up frames. So, you know, night work, boring. I don't know. I don't make, it doesn't make any sense to me. Or, you know, you don't pay somebody that makes, you know, a lot of money compared to someone that doesn't make a lot of money to sit there and watch TV. Doesn't make any sense to me. But, I don't know. So I'm waiting to find out if that's a definite or not. Hopefully it's not a definite because another PM has a bunch of punchless items that needs to be done on a few jobs. One of them is mine. And I told him, you know, if I'm working nights, I can't do punchless during the day because, you know, I'd like to sleep at some point. So I don't know. So I think they're going to. They may argue it out. We'll see who wins on that one. And then this was weird. This happened to me yesterday. I get home from work. And I look out my living room window. And I see two small school buses. Like parked across the street. Blocking the driveway across the street. And then I see this SUV blocking me in my driveway. I'm like what in the world is going on here so i go out to you know there's people floating around the school bus to a woman floating around the school bus and i go do you know whose car this is she's like oh yeah it's mine so i said well can you move it i mean you're blocking me in my driveway can you move your car so she says this is what she says to me you should have some respect really so i said to her Maybe you should have some respect by not blocking cars in driveways. There's a spot over there. There's a spot over there. There's a spot over there. But you decided to block me in my drive. Move your fucking car. What is wrong with people? You had absolutely no respect for anybody that you're blocking in the driveways. But yet, we're supposed to have respect for you? I don't understand. People have gone batshit crazy since COVID. Nobody cares. And nobody cares about anybody else except themselves. I, I don't care. And it's just getting worse. It's not getting any better. It's just getting worse. So yeah, so that's my rant for this morning. So I'm just going to have a small um, grocery pickup this week a lot of it oh well, I shouldn't say a lot of it some of it's not food it's just stuff that like cleaning supplies and stuff that I needed but 
yeah so it's just gonna be a small pickup and I will show that to you when I get it figured that since no one's here I'll give you a little snippet of what we are doing let me see if I could there we go so we're just putting fences up here a fence around this transformer here um, over here like where those dumpsters are that's gonna be a gate there's gonna be two gates in there it's a little confusing because it's just a bunch of poles sticking up right now and if you see that door let's see if I can move over see that door back there um, We'll put that door in, and then beyond the door is the small room that we did work in. But yeah, that is what I'm working on today. So today they're going to come. They set the posts in concrete yesterday. And today they're coming. We have to put concrete in the posts. And then um, when the site guy comes and does his asphalt sidewalks, curbs, whatever, we have to come back and put the chain link on so yeah so that's what's happening here I figured I'd show you what a typical lunch for me is at work I have a 32 ounce bottle of flavored water um, I take a sandwich every day this is um, sorbet white bread light mayo low sodium ham and light Yalsberg cheese and I usually do serving sizes, so some of these are going to look funny. So I have one cheese stick for Slim Jims. I have a Rice Krispie Treat, an applesauce. I have a strawberry yogurt, Oikos, triple zero, and two Fig Newtons. Now, not to say that I'm going to eat all these. I usually eat the cheese stick and the Slim Jims, and definitely the yogurt. And the sandwich, whether I eat the whole thing or half. But these snack things are usually in my bag at any given time. So it doesn't mean that I necessarily eat these on an everyday basis. But this is my typical lunch on a daily basis. Unless I decide I don't feel like taking lunch and then I buy my own. Which is extremely rare. So I went to the library and picked up the books that I had on hold. So, the first book I got is called The New Couple in 5B. And the other one I got is Finley Donovan Rolls of the Dice. I like mysteries and thrillers and things like that kind of books. So, these looked interesting when I looked them up. So, hopefully they're good. I have two other books in my room that I'm reading. I'm now finishing up a James Patterson book. Another book looked a little quirky. Um, it's kind of um, not really sci-fi, but kind of ghost demons kind of thing. I like those too. I don't even know what you would call those kind of books. But that's what I have upstairs. And then I have these two that I just picked up. So I'll let you know how they, how they are, how these two are. The other two books that I have upstairs are fairly old books. I'll let you know how these two are when I get through them. Okay, just came back from Lidl. Just got a few things that I didn't get through ShopRite um, because I knew I could get them cheaper at Lidl. Um, so I spent $25.76. I'll show you what I got. I got two, I'm just going to take them out of the bag, two self-rising pizzas. These were $3.50 each. Um, I wanted to get their, I wanted to get their rolls because their rolls are pretty good because I'm going to make steak sandwiches with, um, onions tonight. Well, let me tell you, shrinkflation has got to leave. Like, these rolls were four for two dollars, so fifty cents each. They're that big. They're like the size of my hand. And they used to be much more bigger. Than so, that's kind of annoying. Um, I got a ham and cheddar hot pockets because I'm starving. Do you ever have those weeks where you're just so hungry that no matter what you eat, you're still hungry? I'm having one of those weeks. We've got some black forest ham because I forgot to put this on my shop right list. I forgot to put ham on my shop right list. 
I'm not the biggest fan of Black Forest Ham or Sweet Ham. I got some Cadbury Milk Chocolate and Cad oh, Cadbury Caramel. Yeah, because I'm like eating everything inside. Yeah, it's not that time of month. I am way past those years. And then I got a thing of sweet onions. So, yeah, that's what I got at Lidl. My shop right order should be done soon, so I'll show you what I got there. So I'm supposed to be getting a couple of Timu orders also. So when I get those today, I'll show you what those are. Um, I ordered a couple sneakers from Timu also, which is good timing that I'm getting them because I'm an idiot and I wear my sneakers on job sites. So my sneakers that I have been wearing are like falling apart. So it's actually very good timing. And it's not like I bought cheap sneakers either. So hopefully these fit me and they're comfortable. And then I also went, before I went to Lidl, I went to the store called Ollie's. I don't know if you have that around you. It's Pennsylvania B store, but they opened up a store by me a, a few months ago and they advertised themselves as like a big lot. So I went in there, at least a mess. It's like a family dollar, honestly. And I didn't see any deals there at all like i want to get a new bed set for my bed because the one i have is falling apart because it's a it's a few years old and the dogs my dog that died and the dog that i have not now you know sleep on the bed so it's you know starting to get worn and getting a, some tears on it and um, it's still clean it doesn't have like the body stain that you get from dogs if you don't wash your stuff it doesn't have that but it's definitely getting worn and old and it's kind of heavy for um the summer that's coming up so it's too heavy for that so i want to get something else um that looks nice and so they had an advertisement for um bedding starting at 27.99 so i'm like oh that's cool i'll get there well obviously the bedding at 27.99 is the twin size and i'm not spending anything more than 50 dollars, and that includes tax on bedding because i know that it's going to get destroyed eventually because of the dogs so or the dog i should say so yeah so i guess i have a three o'clock um meeting that i have to get to today i'm just looking over there because someone pulled in through the driveway just wondering where it is who it is so i have three o'clock meeting today and it's pretty much i have to pass walmart on my way to the meeting so i think i'm gonna stop in walmart and see what they have so if i wind up getting bedding i'll show you what that is too so right now I'm I have a diet seven up, which is my favorite soda, and I have my little hot pocket here that I'm gonna have for lunch. And I will get to you later. Okay, so I just picked up my shop right and the total for this was $112.01. And that includes seventeen dollars and thirty-seven cents in savings. So let's go through what I got. I got a head of lettuce. Um, I'm gonna use this for a recipe plus salads. I got two Roma tomatoes. This is also going to be for a recipe. A pound of strawberries, a pint of raspberries, and a pint of blueberries. I think I'm gonna make blueberry lemon muffins this weekend some sour cream also for a recipe i got a bag of avocados some broccoli florets some tostados this is also for a recipe salt and pepper chips caramel macchiato oh, bleh, caramel macchiato coffee creamer um two taco seasonings a thing of chocolate chip cookies some palm olive dish soap, an eight pack of toilet paper, Irish spring soap, um, the classic wise mix 20 pack. I 
have two um, bumblebee snack things because I'm getting tired of sandwiches and the weather's getting warmer so I'm going to start bringing in like cooler stuff, salads, stuff like this. 2% uh, milk, another free box of pasta, Barilla pasta, some laundry detergent, um, a bacon Caesar kit, a regular Caesar salad kit, a pound of grapes, um, some ground turkey. This was on sale for $3.88. And then we'll move over here. I had some shredded mozzarella, Mexican blend. This is for a recipe. I was supposed to get 10 inch, but they gave me these small ones. But that's fine. We'll still use these. When I go to Walmart later, I'll get the 10 inch. I got the pizza dough. Um, ShopRite, this is $1.99. And when I was in Lidl, I was just looking to see how much they charge at Lidl. $2.99 at Lidl. So I know that you get really good deals at Lidl and Aldi, but you still have to check your prices. I got these McCain mashups just because I wanted to see how they tasted. String cheese, as usual, and two shredded cheddar. One is also for a recipe. So that is my ShopRite grocery haul for this Thursday. Okay, my Timo order came. So I got two pairs of sneakers. One is just regular black and white. And one is purple with some gray accents and white. I did try both of these on. I wear a size eight and a half and they're too fit and they also seem very comfortable i haven't walked around in them yet but they seem very comfortable i got four of these glasses that come with four straws straws and two cleaners i got a little mini scale you can weigh food on this i got some socks here some little anklet socks here in brown and blue and then I also got this runner here for by my sink so yeah that's what I got at Timu okay so that's it for this video for me um oh if I go to Walmart I'll come back on and show you what I got at Walmart if I wound up getting bedding if I didn't wind up getting bedding bedding um just gonna end this video here um i am gonna have to go get um more of those tostitos 10 inch ones but yeah so if i don't go to walmart and i don't pop pop back on this is going to be the end of the video and i hope to see you on the next one